Sky Nicholson, congratulations. Your seventh professional victory tonight. You said to me during the week that you wanted to show you could go through the gears, that you had different levels to your performance tonight. That turned into a very dominant eight-round victory this evening. How do you assess what we've just seen? Yeah, exactly like you said. I wanted to show I can go through the gears. Um, I feel like there was a lot more output. I was throwing a lot more punches than I've shown in my other fights. So um, a tick in the box there. And um, yeah, a really good development fight. I knew she was going to be tough. I knew she was going to be durable. Um, and I feel like we, we got a really good eight rounds out of her. In terms of moving forward now, it's a well-known cliche in boxing that some fighters say, look, when, when I'm in there with a live opponent, that's when you're going to see the best of me. It seems with you, Sky, that that's so true, and you're ready to take a leap now. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm ready for the big fights. Um, the WBC have obviously ordered me to fight the interim champion, Perez. Uh, so that's definitely what's next for me, and I'm really excited for that challenge. Let's grab a word with trainer Eddie Lamb. Eddie, Sky's clearly got all the talent in the world. Is she ready now to be let off the leash, as she says? I'd, I'd, personally, I'd like a little bit more time, but, you know, what do I know? But we're working on stuff in, in, the, in the gym, and people haven't seen what she could do in the gym. She, she's got a lot more to offer. What gives you the confidence, Eddie, as a trainer, though? Like you say, you work tirelessly with Sky in the gym every day. That With her hard work, if she continues to work in the way she is, that she'll have all the success in the world in this sport. Um, because I can see it in every day, you know. It's just... Just, just the tip of the iceberg of what we can see in here, you know, she's got so, so much more. Let's grab a word with promoter Eddie Hearn. Eddie, Sky says she's ready to be let off the leash. Eddie Lamb says he'd like a bit more time. What's the plan for Sky this year? I think let off the leash. I think you're going to see the best of her against live opponents. You know, tonight was good eight solid rounds, but there's only so many of those fights you can have. You know, 80-72, it's going to be that case every single fight. There was more punches, there was more output this time. But you're going to see her against, better against offensive fighters, fighters that are coming to win. You'll see that against Perez for the interim world title. That's the next fight in the summer. And then it's going to be the world championship. And, you know, once you've had seven fights in the women's code, it's time. You know, there's only so much development you can do before you have to take the leap. You're seeing it with Sandy Ryan tonight. You're seeing it with Ellie Scott and fighters like that. She's had her apprenticeship now, ready or not, tough. And I think you'll see the best of her against the op opponents that are coming to win. Sky, just final one from you, 7-0 now. You're only in your second year as a professional. Talk of interim titles. In your mind, in 2023, what does Sky Nicholson achieve in this sport? I think I win my first world title before the end of 23. Will you not be happy unless that's the case, do you think? I'm always happy, but I know what I want and I'm going to do what I've got to do to get there. Sky Nicholson, big things to come. Congratulations. Well done.